So binding procedure of your first sky is with uh, X8R receiver. You can actually you can uh, bind your uh, Taranis with uh, money receivers, older or new uh, first sky receivers, of course. But this will be uh, standard standard bin procedure uh, for standard usage without any special modes and without any exotic receivers etc. Just standard, yeah. Uh, standard receiver for uh, for Sky Taranis is uh, X8R. Uh, this is this receiver is uh, almost every time in a combos of uh, for Sky Taranis. But of course, uh, this bin procedure you can use with uh, all X receivers. Welcome to Free Sky Tyrannus. Throttle warning. Switch warning. This is standard. This is standard uh, Tyrannus, but of course, absolutely same procedure is for Tyrannus Plus. So you can't, or sometimes you must uh, make a binding procedure or setting of a type of receiver in each model in Taranis. So now I will create a new model. And on page 2 of 12 some, somewhere about one half of menu items here. Internal RF it means we will set internal RF um, module in uh, transmitter. You can use your internal external too, but how I say this will be standard and standard is uh, internal module. Uh, you can use module in many uh, modes. You can use this uh, your, your turn is with module off example use for uh, simulator PC simulator or on D16 mode this will be our main mode D8 older mode or mode uh, uh, mainly for older receivers and LR uh, 12. This is special mode for special long range receivers with uh, triple time uh, bigger range, but without, tele without telemetry. Probably you can use. Uh, probably will you will use D16, but I will show you uh, use it in D8. Uh, how you can bind your receiver in, in D8 too. So, D8, channel 1 from 1 to 8, what it means, you can use your receiver, uh, you can use more receivers and one receiver will be 1 to 8 and the next uh, 9 to 16, but how I say, standard setup. So, standard setup, receiver is 1 to 8 and your turn is will set same range here on this option, 1 to 8. So, if you want, if you want to uh, bind your X receiver in D8 mode, you will need this small jumper. You can find it in a small pocket with keys or beside your receiver. Just standard, standard jumper. Plug this small jumper on signal pins on channels 7 and 8 yes 7 and 8 now just connect power I have here some speed regulator with PEC only for this Propose so connect 
power. This is right. You can see lights. Now go on bind uh, value bind option press enter you can hear the sound and you can see uh, LEDs on uh, receiver are flashing so press again disconnect remove jumper don't forget for it and now we will try if it will works In D8 are all LED lights off on D8 mode. So how, how I will check if it works? I will uh, try telemetry from receiver. So press longer page and we are on telemetry screen. So this is uh, RSSI voltage from receiver. What is bad on a D8 mode? If you want to use new uh, sensors with smart port, smart port connection, uh, you know, you just connect your sensor with smart port on smart port on uh, your receiver, and that's all. Uh, you cannot use, you cannot use smart port sensor on D8. Yes, this is big, big minus on D8. If you want to use smart sensors or sensor with smart port, you must use main uh, main mode D16. So again here da -da -da. here so d16 telemetry lost on d16 you can use uh, sensors with smart port uh, this is uh, modern uh, mode modern protocol uh, but with uh, some uh, special things about uh, use of your one receiver in more models so this is D16 this is main usage how you will bind it this jumper we will not use we will use this small switch small switch on a receiver so Press with pen or something similar. Press this small switch. Hold, 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 hold. Connect battery. Still hold. And now release. You can see lights. Light. Go again on bind option. Press enter. You can see LED lights are flashing. Press again, disconnect, and connect for check. Telemetry recovered. In D16, LED light on receiver on X receiver is green. Now we will check telemetry. Again, RSSI and voltage in receiver. Only for short. Uh, my receiver, my receiver is too too close to uh, transmitter. Lost. Yes, I know. Recovered. Too close. Uh, I will use this this uh, current sensor with smart port only for show test. Lost. Sh short test if it works. Telemetry recovered. So. Now I will connect. Now I will connect a smart port from sensor. Maybe yes. And now I will set in model menu 
it will be quick. What I want to see. So I want to see voltage from this sensor because current will be zero because only receiver is connected. So this is VFAS, yes. VFAS is voltage from this sensor. Okay. And on the screen, yes, this is voltage from this sensor. It means voltage of my main battery in airplane, for example. So, bind procedure. Gain. Telemetry lost. In, in D16, 2 from 12. This is main type of use of your receiver. Press, hold, 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 still hold, still hold, power, release, go on bind, OK, flashing, OK, disconnect, connect, telemetry recovered, green light, all is OK. But what is this number? This is ID, ID of this receiver. It means if you want to use your receiver on any next model, you must set on this model or memory position on transmitter same number. If you will set other number, this receiver will not work. I will show you. This is similar, this is safe function. Yes, this is function for safe usage. Uh, similar like uh, model match on DSM radios, for example, by spectrum radios. So I will create new model. Create model. OK. And you can see light is red. It means this receiver is without properly, uh, without the right signal from transmitter. So this transmit, uh, this receiver is now not binded with transmitter. Because if you will create new model, it will create it automatically with new ID, with new number. Remember, number was 9, now is number 10. So, I can change this number for 9. You can see, uh, LED light is green, so now is a receiver OK. But the run is uh, samey. Be aware this uh, ID, this receiver ID you already used on other model. OK, I know it. Now this receiver will work on this model and on previous model, just on all models with same ID 09. Because if I will change it on 10, and if I will make a new bind procedure, I will show because it's too easy. OK, bind procedure is complete. You can see, you can see green light. OK, but now is this receiver with ID 10. So, previous model. Previous model with number nine is not works. Here you can see red light. It means yes, you can use different ID on different RC models. It's safe. It's okay. It's fine. It's perfect. But 
uh, with uh, different IDs you must use different receivers or you must if you will use different IDs with one receiver you must uh, make new bind procedure after moving receiver to other model with other ID I think it's clear yes now if I will uh, change it on 10 Rani says, oh, model ID is already used, okay, and it works, so. And now I will show you a uh, short... RSSI low. Yes, I know. Now I will show you a short procedure, how set, uh, for example, uh, voice message about RSSI uh, level. RSS for with this this switch for example so I will go on special functions here special function special function one which switch so this I hold it I hold it and confirm and enter now I released it so switch sh arrow down uh, function not override but Play, play value because we don't we want no value of RSSI play value which value RSSI du, 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 du. here RSSI and one time so we will try it eighty one DB seventy seven DB eighty three DB eighty four DB eighty seven DB eighty eight DB Yes I think it's really easy. So bind procedure with X receivers. Have a nice day, thanks for watching.